Hello, healers, starseeds, mystics, lightworkers, anyone and everyone that was drawn to this reading. These are messages for you right now. Um, we're going to have some fun with the tarot dice. I was, you know, cleaning out some spaces and I found this mat and I thought, gosh, this would be fun to take this little journey. Um, and also at the end of this reading, there are going to be spe special messages for 2021 for healers, star seeds, mystics, and light workers. Now you may, like myself, feel like you resonate with all four of those and want to listen to all the messages. But there may be one or two that stand out more than the others that you feel you're on a mission here being a healer, a star seed, a mystic, or a light worker of some kind. Those will be your main messages if you listen to all, and then the other ones will be supportive messages. Or you can just pick one, and then you can come back anytime to listen to another one. We're just going to have a little fun with that. The timestamps will be below. But first, we're going to do a reading for everybody. If you're on this journey and you resonate with any of that, um, any one of the light, we're all in this together. We really, truly are. And it's. I feel very strongly that it's time for us to step up into more of a leadership role, step into our power, move towards our destiny, take the lead in our personal life as well as professional life and how we are helping humanity. And I do feel big positive shifts. So this is a really, really beautiful time for everyone. It's what we came here to do. So let's do it. Okay, we're going to start with some main messages first of the main energy of 2021 for you. So we have allowance. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. So I feel that during the whole year of 2021, Spirit wants you to allow yourself to grow. Allow yourself to expand. Allow yourself to receive blessings of money, good health, happiness, joy, peace, and contentment. Allow yourself to just be, to enjoy to be creative, to end whatever it is that you want to end, move forward without fear, without resistance, go with the flow, dance the, the sacred dance of life and open your heart. So there's a lot of expansion. Let's just put this here. There's a lot of expansion happening in um, 2021 for you. And with the Magical Dimension cards, we're just going to get another main energy for 2021 for healers, star seeds, mystics, and light workers. And I feel with that nine, that makes me feel like the Virgo card, the Hermit card, that you guys all are healers in your own way, that we all are healers. So allow those gifts to be realized. And look at this. This is gorgeous energy. You get a 9 and then you get the 19, which adds up to a 10. So you're on path, the right path for harmonic resolution in your life. Re releasing the negativity and anger and resentment and regrets and all of that and transmuting it into the light to find this perfect balance in your life. Perhaps you create music or music really resonates with you. Sound therapy really truly a deep connection with the universe and all that is ancient knowledge being unlocked and and really moving forward in new fresh energy where things in your life that may have been challenging or chaotic are being resolved the universe is working with you see in the wondrous dance of life and, and then we get harmonic resolution. So this is literally dancing to the music of the universe. I mean, that's what 2021 is going to be. That is, um, wow. And some resolution and at the bottom is utopia. Yeah, I just really feel that this is what we're moving into is this heaven on earth energy. Okay, and with the dragon oracle we're going to get another energy coming in for 2021 so there's
there's harmony. I feel like a lot of peace. And then here we have the air and water dragon. And what's interesting, I just have to say before we read this, this green energy, heart healing energy, communication with the air and spiritual guidance. And I feel with the allowance feeling like an earth energy, like it's like things are, you're being blessed in the material world and in your health. And with the harmonic resolution, it's like your energetic body just being at peace, your physical body and your energetic body being in harmony. And then you have this air and water. So your mind and your heart, your head and your heart coming into balance helps you connect to the higher frequencies. Trust your intuition. Develop your psychic abilities. Be open to enlightenment. Express your inner song. And I already felt the music. So perhaps you're going to sing a song. You're going to create music. You're writing a song. Something about music really speaks to you. Spirit speaking to you through music. And really wanting you to develop your psychic abilities. So all of 2021, your gifts are really going to expand and grow and you're ready for this spirit wants you to know you're ready to connect with these higher frequencies and your intuition is just going to be incredibly on point so trust it and express yourself so a lot of expression and just feeling i just feel like such happiness is coming being able to express yourself the way you've always wanted to you know and then our last main energy with the earth. And then we'll get into the tarot dice. Which is, um, I'm drawing a blank now, but I think there's something earth, but earth magic. <laughs> it's our main energy 2021. So a lot of balancing. A lot of balancing. And look at this. And and crystal clear focus third eye opening awakening this is all your gifts like i you guys get ready get ready for your gifts to open up in such a grand way you didn't expect it just seeing life and what it means and your mission and your purpose with such clarity being focused if you were in the clouds or confused by what has been going on and the fears and the lower vibrations that you're releasing and letting go of and finding this harmony, you're going to get your focus back, your drive back, I hear. Perhaps you um, like to use crystals with your healing sessions, with your, your spiritual work. This gorgeous energy, though, and at the bottom is Gaia nurturing yeah, just things coming into fruition, good health, manifestation in the physical world. I mean, that's what's coming. Resolution to anything, your finances, your health, love relationships, family dynamics. It's all, I feel like, coming into balance. And it's really beautiful. So now we're going to go move to the tarot dice here. So I'm just going to close my eyes and reach into the bag and mix them up. And the first dice that comes out is going to be the subject under discussion for 2021 for healers, star seeds, mystic and light workers, highest and best spirit. What's your best dice? Oh, we have the three of pentacles. That's beautiful. So the way that they want me to read this is they want this to face you. So this is the main energy of the subject under discussion. So this is money. This is career. This is finances. This is divine collaborations. This also speaks to me of mission work with your twin flame soulmate, some kind of divine partner that you are going to move forward with in the material world and create something beautiful. It's like you, this person and spirit working together. It could be three of you. It could be that you have a child or they have a child and it's just this coming together. It's a beautiful collaboration, whatever this is. So this is the subject of the year is collaborating and moving forward, finding resolution, harmony. And then I, this is the 10 of wands. So yeah, Guess what? The beginning of the year right now, it's your the spirit saying, drop the burdens. This is coming in and it's really going to help you. Okay, no more burdens. Um, I feel like in the past, some collaborations, relationships, friendships, whatever this was that you tried to collaborate with people, they didn't work out. It happened with me too. I had to go through, um, you know, several of uh, people like that to really learn what was right for me and not and I feel like you've done the same so you're dropping the burdens and it's this collaboration that's meant to be so let's move to number two the environment of the inquirer 
and for that which surrounds you. So the environment that surrounds you during this time. What, what about the environment for 2021? We get the King of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so the environment is um, a, a very... It could be a person, it could be a king, it could be a father figure, it could be a boss, it could be um, the, patriarch, or the, yeah, the patriarch of the family. It also could be, if you're the feminine listening to this, it could be your masculine stepping up into the kingly role. And instead of like the environment is kind of had you go back and forth. Like some people are on board with you, some people aren't. And that's a burden because you're trying to, you know, please everybody, right? Because I, I feel like you have a tendency like me, you want to please everybody. You can't please everybody all the time. So drop those burdens. It It's this king energy, this masculine energy. It could be the masculine within you finally rising up. Trusting what you know, spiritually speaking, bringing that balance. Because with the two of pentacles, it's back and forth until you find that balance of the spirituality and the practicality of the material world. And you blend those two together and finally make decisions. So you're making this in, in 2021, you're making decisions that are right for you, where your soul is calling you where your heart is calling you. And there's all this beautiful passion and creative energy that's moving through you with this King of Wands. And if it's a love situation that you've been wanting to come together, it's coming together in 2021. And that's a lot of passion. And finally making the decision to collaborate and move forward together. So whatever this is, it's um, you're really coming into your power. And, and these are really good decisions that you're making. Really powerful decisions like coming from spirit from this harmonic resolution like it's like things coming in the beautiful harmony here okay the past what is behind you look at that what's behind you look at all this earth energy what's behind you is this holding on too tight what's behind you is this closed off feeling or people being closed off around you like not being open not being given this is allowing allowing yourself to open up Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of swords. Yeah, so the past, what's behind you, what you're leaving behind, let me remind you, is that negativity, the anger, the self-imposed entrapment of the eight of swords being all caught up in your head, telling yourself toxic stories of possibly these burdens of the past and, and energies that were in your life that were very wishy-washy back and forth. But now coming forward, this masculine energy is very strong and stable and is the king now. There's no more wishy-washy. So you're moving out of this feeling like you have to hold on too tight, like you just, you can't open up because you're in fear, right? This is what you're leaving behind. That's beautiful. Support what you have to work, what you have to work with now. How is the universe supporting you? I don't know what that little part of a candle there. What's supporting you here is look at that. It's the fool. So the universe is supporting you by giving you this new fresh energy, this opportunity to move in whatever direction you want to take this leap of faith. And look at this. It's a six of cups. I feel very strongly that there's someone from your past, from childhood, could be the father figure coming back around again and, and helping you find that peace. Um, you know, some idea pushing a creative project forward. It could be that. It also can be a, a lover, some kind of love situation, unconditional love, best friend, soulmate energy coming in. That possibly in the past it didn't work out and it was like confusing and people were holding on too tight. They weren't really opening up, but I feel this beautiful opening can be past life recognition, but healing from childhood too. He, finally letting go of perhaps things were tough when you were a child and it was very toxic and it was hard because there was a lot of negativity and it wasn't harmonious. But now you're coming into a point in your life where you're finding that peace and harmony finally with your past. I do feel that in whatever way, whether it be love, family, friendships, it's you're finally getting that peace and being able to take this leap of faith forward towards unconditional love towards what you love who you love this best friend feeling you're really being supported by the universe with that unconditional love giving you this opportunity to take this leap of faith like on this collaboration i feel the present 
that which you are leaving behind. Oh, and I also feel with this energy that you're a wise fool now. There's no foolish fools anymore. You're a wise fool. You're going after what your heart and soul are telling you, not what anyone else or this toxic, this toxic burdensome energy was telling you. It's just new, new energy. The present, that which you are leaving behind. So that's already behind you, but you're going to leave something behind here because you're being supported to take this leap of faith. So what are we leaving behind in 2021 then? Being burnt by the sun, things that didn't work out, being unclear. You're finding that focus finally because with this sun energy coming in, that tells me you're leaving behind anything and everything that is not your happiness and not your joy. Anything that, and ev anyone that makes you feel not good about yourself and makes you feel that negativity, those lower vibrations, getting this cl so much clarity is coming in. And it's really, it's this, that I feel like that harmonic resolution again, it's burning away. The sun is burning away anything that's not serving you and helping you transmute that into the light. That's a really important um, energy and lesson and concept for 2021 for everybody that's listening to this. And in turn, your gift to humanity is you're gonna help other people find their balance within themselves. Other people find harmonic resolution within their family dynamics, their relationships, kind of like a counselor coach type feeling. Could be in the medical field, whatever this is, it's the music that you make uh, is helping create harmony. It's beautiful. And then you have right on top, is there having me read what's supporting this sun and moon is the fears. It's the moon. So what's happening, what you're leaving behind is the fears and the lower vibrations and the uncertainty and the cloudiness. With all this focus energy and this balanced energy, you're seeing very clearly and you're moving towards happiness, joy. Your intuition, remember, is on point here. So trust it. This is psychic gifts, spiritual gifts. It's that pearl of wisdom that you find when the sun comes in and burns away what's not serving you. Leaving behind anything that you thought was going to be happiness, that you thought was going to bring you abundance, and any fears of moving forward towards your destiny, you're letting go of all of that. It's a perfect balance of masculine and feminine coming in. And finally, leaving the, the unbalanced energy of the past behind, the imbalances. Desires, ideal wish or question. Desires, ideal wish or what's in question. to drop these burdens to find the balance. Look, it's justice. The scales are coming into balance and you're having the foresight. You've got a lot of strength and stamina and a lot of spiritual wisdom. You're going to grow a lot. We already felt it with the nine at the beginning. You're really going to expand your spiritual gifts. And all of these, um, this contrast and any kind of challenge that's come your way has only made you stronger. And you know what's interesting, what I'm getting, and I've never felt in this dice, um, in, in this particular image, is I feel like it's hu husband and wife, you know, no matter the, the, the gender, it doesn't matter, but husband and wife, masculine and feminine coming together, and there's a child involved. You have a child, you're going to have a child, or this is that spiritual project, that creative project, that baby that you've been nurturing together, and it's going to grow. A lot of strength and stamina here. And finally realizing that you have the power to move forward and, and, and you have everything you need and there's balance coming in. Whatever's been burdensome, whatever you felt was not right or just felt like a challenge and you, you're getting through it and balance is coming. Because see with the six energy, I kept hearing peace, balance, harmony with that harmonic resolution, right? That's all coming in. That's all coming in and you're realizing all of those burdens and all of this, these things that you've been learning was all part of the plan to bring you into perfect balance. We have this full new fresh energy, right? The six balance, reciprocity, feeling more healed. And then you have the balance of the masculine and feminine here. And then you have the scales into balance here. And, and what I felt is the masculine and feminine coming together in balance. Like, wow, that is really beautiful. So number seven is the change. Who or what is going to change things? So what's really going to change things? What's really going to be the game changer in 2021? Ooh, let's find out. 
Look at that, the high freaking priestess. What's the game changer is that you are the high priestess, you are the high priest. The game changer is your intuition and your psychic gifts. Staying committed to your spiritual growth, staying committed to what you know to be true and right for you, and you are going to be blessed with the Ace of Cups. Do you see that? Who or what's going to change things? You. It's all about you. This is your cup. This is your life and you have this beautiful opportunity in 2021 to fill it and be happy. New beginnings, the romance of a lifetime, a new spark in your relationship, whatever this is, who's going to change it? You are. <laughs> wow. And also what I feel very strongly for you guys moving forward for all of you who's ever listening to this is you have... Um, Someone coming into the physical, or it could be a really strong, powerful spirit guide that you connect with daily. That This is an energy that you feel all the time, that you see in your dreams that's guiding you. And it could be manifesting in a physical form where you have this, this really highly evolved person. Feels like a feminine energy coming into your life to help guide you. So, or you're becoming that guide. But, we, you know, there's always people that are more evolved, right? How would we evolve if there wasn't? This is someone of the church. This is someone that's a leader of a spiritual group. This is someone um, that is a psychic, intuitive, uh, medium, card reader, healer like myself. And that could be you stepping up into that role and just loving it because you're finally in your power or reaching out to someone who knows to help guide you on this journey. But you're really growing spiritually because it's on top of seven, which is spiritual growth. Um, and um, decisions being made. So deciding to go after what you love and who you love for this new beginning. So that's the game changer. <laughs> I love it. The reason, the feelings, um, attitudes at this time of the reading. So your feelings, the reasons, attitudes at this time, your personal power with that being an eight. Look at that. You know. You know there's a new path opening in 2021. You know it. You've been working on this. You've been wanting this. You've been manifesting this. You get the Ace of Cups supporting your intuition. You know this is the new path. And look at that. It's a page of pentacles. Yeah, this new opportunity, this new path opening, this bright idea is going to be abundant. Stepping into your power and taking charge of this opportunity. The feelings and attitudes are that you know and you trust your intuition and you you trust your higher mind here because Juan's energy is, is very passionate, creative, and extremely spiritual. And it's going to bring you financial growth. It's going to help you move forward in 2021. This new spark, this idea, trust it. I'm telling you, and with this King of Wands and then the masculine and feminine coming together, woo! Get ready for some passionate, sensual, erotic times. If, I mean, just if that's what you're wanting and that's what you've been manifesting, it's coming. Pushing a creative project forward and it being abundant, it's coming. This idea, this the, the spiritual journey that you're on, a spiritually based business, great idea. This can be the high priestess here, the fe divine feminine and this king of wands, very, this, you know, masculine two highly evolved spiritual beings coming together for this opportunity. I'm telling you, there's something about that. A masculine, a power couple coming together. And this can be you teaming up with a business partner and it just being, wow, incredible. Turn of events, how events will evolve. So the turn of events here in 2021, how they will evolve. So you've got how they will evolve. <laughs> you look at that. Okay, so... I love it. So how it's going to evolve. So who's going to make the change? You. <laughs> okay. And how it's going to evolve, how that's going to evolve, that Ace of Cups is, look at the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is feeling stuck, stifled, bored. That is no more in 2021. If you felt that way in 2020, like many people did, you, it's no more. Because you know you're taking this opportunity because with the Four of Cups always comes that Ace and the Ace already came up. That's the change is you're looking up to the light and you're taking this offer from the universe because the Aces are gifts. You have two Aces on the board here and the Fool. The Spirit is saying it's time. 
It's time for new energy. It's time for new life. And guess what's supporting it is the Queen of Wands, the divine counterpart of the King of Wands. I am telling you something. 2021 is a year of the Twin Flame Soulmate Divine Partners. Doesn't matter how you label it. This is two people coming together that are meant to be, that are meant to do something big to help humanity. That's you. It's the masculine and feminine energies within you coming into Full, perfect balance trusting your intuition allowing yourself to receive and then when you get that divinely inspired idea when you get that little push that spirit says it's time to take action you're taking action with the king of wands energy i mean wow what whoever this is the environment that surrounds you that's finally coming into balance and making this offer this opportunity to take this leap of faith out of the past wow is it powerful and it's meant to be Big turn of events here in 2021. Big turn of events. Happenings, what affects other what effect others have on you? So in 2021, how will other people in your environment be affecting you and different happenings or events? <laughs> the Emperor and the the um Knight of Cups. So happenings and how others will affect you is remember how we talked about in the beginning, the past, what's behind you is this holding on too tight. The emperor can speak of control, a controlling parent, a controlling environment. Maybe perhaps you felt you were kind of trying to control everything. It's okay. No judgment here. Whatever this is, there's balance here with this control issue. Okay. Other people in your life may want to try to control the direction you're going and you're not allowing that. There's this information, this Knight of Cups that's coming in and helping release you from that. I'm telling you, there's an offer and it's love. It's something you're going to love. It's this knight in shining armor, this romantic knight coming in, this passionate knight coming in and saying, let's move forward in a different way. So I feel that there may be some, some people, but you're letting go of that with love. You're, you're, you're facing any challenge with love. And that's really important. Bringing the love into it will help balance your head and your heart. So I do feel like with this masculine energy, there is a balance coming because this is the emperor releasing control, focusing on love. That's what's going to happen that's going to bring this into balance and be able to make this decision and not be so back and forth. It's all about the love. There's a lot of love coming in. So guidance whether negative or positive, what spirit's guidance for these see this new beginning, this 2021, this 11? What's guidance? <laughs> the lovers, I am telling you something. This is a year where you, if you're already in a union, a connection that you know is, is your person, that you want to be with this person, you are leveling up and you're going to be even closer more power couple look at that the two hearts coming together the twin flames the soulmates the divine partners the healing of the heart space you're healed restored perfect balance within your union if you're not in union with your person with your divine partner it is coming and it's coming in fast i feel it's coming in and everybody's on a different path and plan but 2021 this is all this is coming together and this is the ending yeah this is the final ending of any kind of toxicity. This is the guidance. Get out of your head. Get out of this energy. Let this go. If someone is toxic and trying to control you or trying to control the direction you're going, let go of that energy. Let go of anything that's toxic. It's the final ending in 2021 of all of this crap. And talk about... <laughs> Spirit's like, listen, if you want the new beginnings, get out of your head and feel into your heart space. Trust where your heart and soul are guiding you. Trust what your emotions and your feelings are telling you. Trust that. It's really important this year that you trust that. With the High Priestess, the Ace of Cups, and, and this coming in, trust that. Air and water, head and heart. That is a big message for this year. Big, big, huge. But there's healing of the lovers. Making decisions in love, based in love. That's what 2021 is all about. Love, 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 love. That is what it's about. That's your guidance. Follow your heart. The future. Where will you be in the future surrounding? So the future. There may be a little drama. So spirit's giving you a little heads up. <clears throat> but I feel a good message from here. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah. There may be a moment 
could be any time. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week um, where there's a need to pause because this is the seven of pentacles sometime in 2021, which of course, because you're dropping the burdens and there's this collaboration coming in. So you're going to leave the drama, the gossip, the controlling nature, the manipulative energies within you and around you and finding that balance. You see how <clears throat> the five of swords can be a lot of toxicity, right? You're going to pause, reflect. What have I learned from this? How can I change this energy? And what I feel from the three of pentacles energy, this coming together energy is like you're going to collaborate and you're leaving whoever this these people are in the past. And you're in this, this coming together. Do you see how the, the wands are like, oh, well, wait, we can make this work. I just need to let go of whatever this is. It could be a person. It could be a codependency addiction. So I feel like you, you're letting go of someone, something, a situation that's not good. Your person, this king or queen, you know, whatever. The, your, the, the feminine's releasing, the masculine's releasing. Whatever it is that you need to release, these fears, these insecurities. And here's that coming together. And that same energy, look, two coming together and creating something beautiful. That's that ace of wands. That's that baby. That's that child. That's part of it. Project. Whatever this is, this is coming together. I'm telling you, it's... No more drama, no more gossip, no more challenge. In 2021, you're overcoming that, reflecting on what you've learned and making decisions on how you're going to move forward in the material world. So there's a lot of decisions that are going to be being made. You know, choices, decisions, decisions, lovers, I mean, decisions, lovers is a decision card. And then this is a decision card. So a lot of <clears throat> changes and decisions being made. And it's for the better. It's definitely for the better. So the last message, this number 13, is conclusion. What will what will be in relation to your question, in relation to your purpose, to your plan, to your destiny of your life for 2021? What is a conclusion? Look at that. I love it. Reciprocity, money inheritance the scales coming into balance this masculine is coming in and wanting to give sorry my voice just went a little funny hold on one second <clears throat> see if i can clear that so there's balance and um reciprocity this to me is like the six of pentacles the scales coming into balance someone giving you a gift this masculine energy coming in and giving to this connection, giving, you know, giving and receiving. It's very reciprocal energy. So that's the conclusion. Yes. And the two of cups. Oh, come on, you guys. The conclusion is finally you're going to be together with your best friend, your soulmate, blending energies. It's very reciprocal. Look at this. Get back and forth, back and forth, balanced. Blessings coming into the material world. I mean, Wow. That's gorgeous energy. And we're going to get some clarification here and just kind of keep going with this. You know, and anything that comes on your path, what I'm feeling is the past, you've really, you're really letting go of this toxic energy, dropping those burdens, right? And um, the final ending, you know, finding this balance, this final ending, healing in 2021 and, and really leaving behind anything, changing things. And, and taking time to pause and reflect and nurture yourself and not rush into anything. You don't have to rush. And the conclusion of this year is everything is coming into balance, which harmonic resolution by you staying focused on your spiritual path, by you staying focused on filling your cup and, and keeping yourself aligned. It's all coming together here. We're going to get some um, clarity with, with this tarot deck. And I'm just going to split the deck and um, take the top 13 cards to give some clarity or, you know, whatever spirit guides us after that. Okay. Highest and best spirit for 2021 for healers, star seeds, mystics, and light workers. What is the clarity on this of what's manifesting here? The subject under discussion, this collaboration. Wow. Come on. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is divine. This is reconciliation. This is that two of cups. This says this is the conclusion and this is the subject under discussion. 
reconciliation, healing, balance. And this is my twin flame soulmate divine partner recognition card. Everything coming together. Collaboration, mission work, moving forward together in the material world. That's 2021. Spiritually based business, moving forward, collaborating with someone, getting those ideas out there. It's like healing with this rainbow, blessings coming in and fire and water. Wow. Okay. So the temperance is the main theme of this year. Um, yes, please. Balance finally coming. Oh, I don't know why they had me do it that way. Look at this. Wow. The invite. <laughs> This is a whole new cycle. And you know, I was going to keep picking the cards, but for some reason, you know, when, when spirit's guiding me and I'm channeling, I just don't even think about what I'm doing. So this is why, because this card needed to come out. This is a new cycle. This is that baby that I was feeling, this project that I've been feeling the whole time. Like abundance, growth. Wow. The environment that surrounds you in 2021 is gorgeous. beautiful expansion your creativity just on fire i mean wow 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 okay so now we're gonna um, see what's behind you the past because this news this is i mean wow Cutting through the crap, the confusion, the illusions, the past, you know, maybe felt stuck. And this is you now rising up. Spirit saying it's time to open up, get that clarity. Archangel Michael is here saying, I am helping you end this toxic cycle. Ending it. Always being up in your head. The, the, the terrible stories. It's time. You're getting complete clarity and rising up like the phoenix rising new path spirit already showed us the ace of cups and the ace of wands and here's the ace of swords wow you're leaving behind anything that was toxic anything and everyone cutting through all illusions breaking old patterns and paradigms of the past being very clear in what you want moving forward and communication where there was lack of, there's going to be lots of beautiful communication in 2021. So it's breakthrough. Breaking through to the other side. Um, number four, the support, what you have to work with now, this full energy, the six of cups energy. Justice, come on. This is so beautiful. Another confirmation, the scales we already saw that was supporting that nine of wands, your, that nine of wands, your, your desires and your wishes. And justice is being served. What's supporting you is the fool, the six of cups, and justice. Um, yes. And you see, look at you. You're taking that sword of truth and you're moving forward. And that's what's bringing the scales into balance. This is you rising up out of the ashes and walking down this new path. Perfectly balanced, beautiful, gorgeous, shining that light, speaking your truth. <laughs> taking that leap of faith. Wow. This is amazing. See, that's the breakthrough that got you through to the other side. The past is behind you now. You're finding this harmonic resolution and really focused and moving forward. Justice being served in your life. Decisions being made in the justice system if you have been working with that energy and that's part of it. But there is justice and a new path. Wow. The present, that which you are the, in the present moment, what you are leaving behind presently. Remember, working through those fears, finding that balance. Get, get, again, clarity, clarity. There's so much clarity coming in 2021. Oh, my God. So some of you can be leaving a family dynamic, leaving home for the first time, leaving a job that you've been in for quite some time and moving forward on a new path, okay? A new abundant path. This can be a divorce. This can be, you know, legal separation, legal divorce and finally justice is served so you can move forward and look at this the masculine and feminine coming together and building their castle this is, has to do with um you're leaving behind anything negative anyone that's holding you back anything that's holding you back 
moving forward on this new path, taking this leap of faith towards everything you've ever wanted. Because the Ten of Pentacles is the Ten of Cups. It's peace, it's harmony, it's new life. It's abundance on all levels. And what's really cool, what I really love is look at this. It's like, I'm howling at the moon for you, my lover. And you finally get to come together in 2021. I'm telling you, masculine and feminine, it is like, wow. Le you're leaving behind anything that's not serving you because this is what you're meant for. This is destiny. This is your legacy. This is that mission work that I keep feeling. Doing something, coming together and, and creating something wonderful. The life you've always dreamed of is waiting for you. I mean, right now. Like, right now. It's that Empress energy, this Ten of Pentacles energy. And perhaps leaving behind a situation that you thought was going to be everything and now you're realizing you want a new path. And so that's that what you're leaving behind is everything and anything that's not serving your highest good. Desires and ideal wish or question, this nine of wands, like coming together, the scales coming into balance, the seven of pentacles. Yeah, fruition. This is fruition. Look at all that fruit that you're holding because, you know, whenever you need to take the time to pause and reflect and refocus, you do. See, that's that focus card. There there may be a lot of different times in 2021 that you're you're reevaluating and refocusing. I feel like there's a lot of beautiful changes and it's like you're moving one direction and it's like great, but then you get this idea to expand it even further and maybe move in a different direction. And it's like, it's gonna be fruitful. Whatever these decisions you're making, it's like coming into fruition here. The scale's coming into balance. Whatever you've been wishing for, decisions are being made because it's a decision card decisions are being made and the scales are coming into balance okay i think this is the next one number seven who or what is going to change things well we know it's you this high priestess energy helping you to trust your intuition to move forward in these new beautiful beginnings and here we are, the progression, the seven of pentacles to the eight, eight of pentacles. This is focusing on you. See, it's all about you, your craft, your talents, your power. You have a lot of power. Whatever you're making, whatever you're creating is very powerful, powerful healing, some kind of um, art, whatever this is, it's going to help others and it's going to be very fruitful for you. And this is really focusing on the details of what you're moving forward this change who or what's going to change things you because you're going to do things differently this year you're going to focus on what's important to you and what's highest and best for you and everyone else involved and you're really going to get clear with what you want and pay attention to the details instead of, instead of letting things just slip away you're really paying attention to the details you're really taking your power back in 2021 Because you're overcoming this toxicity, finding your power in your mental body, clearing that up, personal good, good health and power in the material world as well. The reason, feelings, attitudes at the time of the reading, this new spark, this ace of wands, this opportunity, this page of pentacles that's coming, the hanged man. So the higher mind perspective is really important. At this time, spirit is saying there is a need to release the old. There is a need to pause. You get a few different pausing cards. There is a need to pause and reflect and get the higher mind perspective. That's how you're going to change things, okay? And then that's when you get this epiphany, this idea, this new path opens, this opportunity comes in because you've allowed yourself to expand. And with all this red strings around you, around your spiritual growth, you're being protected, but you see this is the new pathway that's opening. What is meant for you, what is destined and fated for you will be for you. And this is closing your physical eyes, releasing what's not serving you and trusting that in that perfect time, you're going to feel that spark and this opportunity is going to come and you're going to move. You're going to do it. So the reason things may be in pause in your um, life moving forward financially, career-wise, love-wise, relationship-wise is because there's a need for one or both parties to just release and get that higher mind perspective to move forward on this new path. 
the turn of events, how events will evolve. <laughs> Hello, King of Cups. Hello to the emotionally evolved master king. There's the cup. Okay. So any kind of pause is just to focus on yourself. Find the balance yourself. Trust and know. Can get really clear with what you want. Find harmony within. Because this king, as I felt the entire time, this wolf, this lone wolf, this emperor that maybe used to hold on too tight, whatever this is, this king of wands, this very passionate, loving, generous, kind offer is coming in to release you feminines out of this bored, stuck and stifled feeling. Trust that you know this offer is coming. The universe is bringing it in and here's the cup. Um, I would like to offer you my love, my queen. I'm in love with you, my queen. There's love. There's so much love coming in. So much love. This is the turn of events. This is the offer. This is the opportunity. Wow. I love it. That's the clarity. That's the communication. That's different now. Happenings, what effects others have on you in 2021 is um, the new path. I feel like, yeah, that it's a bit, okay. Sorry, I'm in it. Okay, spirit, just let me take a breath. <sighs> There's so much happening in 2021 that you may not realize. And look at, with, look at the crystals on top of the, the, the two wands. This is the new path. This is the twin flames. This is the soulmates. This is the mission work. This is the new path opening for you. Your spiritual gifts, a spiritual business. And you see how we started with the crystal focus. Something about opening your third eye. Something about getting really clear and really focused. And crystal energy may be very helpful to you at this time. Amethyst, clear quartz, whatever it is that you're drawn to. There's a new path opening here. This is the two of wands. To me, the two of wands is the twin flames, a soulmate, sitting face to face with your person and saying, okay, how are we going to move forward? Let's move forward. So what effects others have on you is they're um, pushing you towards your new path. And see this knight of cups energy. Here's this king with this offer. This emperor is releasing and opening up, right? And making the offer. And this is the new path. The path that you will love, that you will really, really thrive in. And so this guidance energy, whether negative or positive, this healing of the lovers is coming together, right? And ending that cycle. What's the card on that? <laughs> so the guidance here is take charge. Step into your power. Go down this new path. Heal. What's guiding you is you, the higher part of you. And look at this beautiful red crystal energy, okay? passion that's that empress right it's the queen of wands that's come up already and the king already came up a lot of passion power higher mind perspective i'm telling you spiritually based business going on your spiritual path helping people somehow with your creative projects whatever you're bringing to the table i mean it's beautiful and you're you're taking the lead in your life and you're going after what you want finally and who you want. And this masculine, this king of cups, this king of wands, this, this masculine energy I've been feeling this whole time finds the feminine so desirable, amazing, strong, powerful, beautiful, inside and out. Truly sees you feminines. And the world is going to see you in a whole different way this year. It's really beautiful and I'm going to put this here and we're going to move to the future where you will be in the future surroundings. So coming together with who you're meant to be, releasing who you're not and, and taking this little pause and reflecting. Yeah, look at that. Releasing, finally done with any kind of this year, 2021, you're done. You're done with deception. You're done with um, the sneaky behaviors of yourself or others. You're done. It's this is you learning the lesson and spirit is like, listen. You've learned all these lessons. That's what Spirit's saying. You've already done this. You've already gone down this path. This is not your path anymore. And you're, you're making the decision, pausing. See that Seven of Pentacles, pausing and reflecting. Okay, who's with me and who's not with me? Who am I leaving behind and who's moving forward with me? What do I really believe? Getting really clear with what you want. Coming up with a strategy and a plan. This is the Seven of Swords. So, 
if you're feeling pressured by others, if you're feeling like stressed out, any kind of anxiety, it's really important that you take time to go within, take some time for yourself, go on a walk, get that higher mind perspective, meditate and make the decision that is best, highest and best for you and everyone else involved. So this is a strategy and a plan. Okay, in the future, you're going to become a, there's going to, things are going to change in a very beautiful way and it's big and it's part of your destiny. And so, yes, it is good to take time and reflect. What have I learned so far? What do I know? And then move forward with confidence. That's why I feel like decisions being made. Seven, 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 lucky time to really pause and reflect and get that higher mind perspective here. And then the last card out conclusion, what will be in relation to your question for 2021 of, is all this balance, reciprocity, two of cups, the lovers coming together. Um, and look at that beautiful new life, hearing the call, singing that song. This is that harmonic resolution. It's judgment day. You've been doing the work. You've been evolving. You've been growing and you are going to be blessed in 2021. Lots of decisions are going to need to be made. So it's really important to keep your balance, to stay grounded, to trust your intuition and trust where your heart is guiding you because it's all coming together. The universe is blessing you. Look at all these fairies, all these beautiful spirit guides around you, blessing you. This is purification. And look at this beautiful pink energy, unconditional love, just so much love coming in, getting your blessings. That's the conclusion. Wow, that is beautiful, beautiful energy um, for 2021. And let's just put this um, judgment card here. Finally, I feel like finally deciding to go after what you want finally. Going down a new path. You're ready. You're so ready. You have everything it takes to do this. And any time of pause is just a time to heal and grow spiritually. So take that opportunity, allow yourself to receive, to rest, to relax. And the bottom energy they want me to show because it's it's really beautiful energy here. They're having me pull the um, six cards for the balance, okay? So this is the underlying energy for 2021 for you is to release, to not hold on so tight. This is that four of pentacles that's the past. It's really important that you do this. It's really important that you leave the past behind and open up and allow yourself to receive. That's really important right now, okay? Release and open up because the ace of cups is right underneath that. So it's coming out again saying, yes, this is new life. This is cutting through any illusions, confusion, birthing this whole new cycle, loving your life, loving yourself, finally making decisions for you and love of a lifetime. I do feel that. Okay. I do feel that energy very strongly. And then we have this King of Pentacles, which is bringing it all home, bringing it in the physical, taking charge, business owner, abundance, good health, good fortune, opportunity, husband. <clears throat> and look at that. I'm telling you, there is something about a baby. Okay, it may not be for everyone. It could be the creative project. So think of it because the Empress is pregnant. I felt the Ten of Pentacles speaks to me of family life, right? I felt it all throughout this reading in different ways, right? Even with the Nine of Wands energy and the sun energy and babies and the sun comes out again. So this is happiness. This is joy. This is enchanting times. And here's the baby. Here's the Empress. You're birthing that creative project. You're birthing this new idea and it's happiness and joy and abundance on all levels and good health clarity, vitality coming back. I mean, this is all coming. And I'm telling you, it's the masculine and feminine coming together and birthing this new cycle. And it's, 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 wow. And then the other two cards that came out. So this is what's feeling it. This is what has to happen. This release, this opening up to this new beginning. And it's, wow, is it beautiful? And then you have the Six of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So moving, literally moving. You could be literally moving in 2021, moving on, going on a beautiful vacation that you've always wanted to go on and really connecting with your lover on this trip. You could be going on a trip alone because you've always wanted to do that. Whatever this is, you are moving on from the toxicity. You're releasing finally and letting go and could be moving and finding your financial independence, breaking free. 2021 is a beautiful year for abundance financial stability and good health. It really is. 
Take charge of it now. Step into your power now. This is you feeling good and independent and free. And it can really speak of owning your own business. I'm telling you, there's gifts coming in, your loved ones, there's communication. Wow, is this abundant. Whatever this collaboration is, whatever you're moving forward to, it's extreme abundance and happiness and joy and peace and contentment and clarity. I mean, wow. And look at this. How interesting is this? We got the emperor here and I'm feeling like the release of that control. And then this is another, somehow got mixed into this deck. The emperor rising up, the masculine rising up, taking that ace. This is you, your inner masculine. You're rising up and making decisions. And this is the emperor. Look at this. I'm telling you, I'm releasing and I'm rising up so I can meet my empress. I mean, how random of a card to be stuck in another deck. It's not random. The universe wanted it this way, but this is the coming together. I am telling you 2021 is it. It's happening. Believe it. <laughs> wow. Spirit is incredible. Trust your guidance here. I mean, wow. Okay, so now we, I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to move to the ending portion, which is going to be time stamped. It's going to be, first we're going to start with the healers, then the star seed message, then the mystic and the light workers. And I know this is a little longer of a reading, but I knew it was going to be that way. So I'm going to clean this portion up so that that can be, um, you know, by itself. Well, apparently they're going to go on the ground. <laughs> I will clean that when we're done. But there is um, a beautiful opening up and a balancing 2021 for sure. And we're just going to leave this because Spirit's like, yeah, this is a main energy here. This Emperor and Empress, this new cycle. Finally coming into balance and making decisions here. Okay, so if you're resonating and you want to listen to the healer's message, this is going to be messages um, for the healers and we are going to read the medicine bag first from the book so medicine bag so uh, a healer's path right a, he a healing business perhaps you're moving into medicine you're going to school for medicine you're a doctor of some kind a nurse or anything in the medical field and this is to, speaks to me of um, wisdom from shamans coming in Gather your resources, be discerning. Vast inner power is growing in your life. Step back and let it grow. There are times to shine brightly for all to see. And there are also times to choose carefully who sees your true self. Wait, let me read that again. There are times to shine brightly for all to see. And there are also times to choose carefully who sees your true self. So be very discerning of who you're letting in on what you're doing in your life. Be very discerning. Keep things to yourself a little bit more. Choose wisely. Do not make hasty decisions. If it doesn't feel right, hold back. You're protected from any less than positive outside influences. Your capacity and potential are growing in leaps and bounds. So you're going to be growing in leaps and bounds. And what Spirit is saying is don't let anyone or anything hold you back from that be discerning here and get grounded spirit wants you to get grounded in 2021 you're an empath you're highly sensitive you connect with nature in a very beautiful way so a way to ground yourself as i think i said in the beginning messages you know is to to get outside get outside of mother earth really ground yourself uh, release any energy that's not serving you and allow Mother Earth's vital energy to come up through you and activate all your cells and bring you into balance. The elementals, the fairies, uh, animals are helping you right now. Mother Earth is really helping you right now. And being a healer, it's really important for you to take time to yourself as well. You may be into flower essences and uh, essential oils as a part of your spiritual practice for yourself and others. Make sure that you release other people's energies and the outside world energies before making your decisions, before doing any kind of healing work because you are so sensitive. I feel like nature really soothes you and really heals you. 
Your star ancestors are with you, revealing hidden secrets, lost wisdom. So the spirit really wants you in 2021 to look deeper. Look deeper within. Look deeper into your ancestors. Look deeper into the knowledge of the stars. Could be Egypt, like the pyramids, or any kind of ancient land. You're really growing in a big way this year. And things are being revealed. And so that's why it's really important that you get grounded because there's lost wisdom and hidden secrets that are part of going to be part of whatever you're bringing forward. Um, spiritually speaking, if you are working as a healer, like as your business, then this is part of it. There's going to be things revealed that are going to help you move forward in a very unique way to help others. If you just help yourself heal and people heal as a, as something that you just do on the side, it's all coming together. There's wisdom being revealed. So be open to that and stay grounded when all this information comes in and, and really um, maybe take a pause and reflect on it a bit before you share it with others. That's what I'm feeling. And Archangel Michael has a message for you. Your children are watched over by angels. So if you've been concerned about your children moving forward or this child energy that I felt the entire time, the baby in heaven waiting to be born, your child, your children are being watched over by angels. Your family is protected. Dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and a role model for my own and other people's children. So this can be you being becoming a parent or maybe you are a parent and you're really um, stepping into a higher vibing role of being a parent, you're a role model for others, uh, other people's children. Uh, you may be moving into a practice where you're helping children. So, but your children are being watched over. Your ideas are being protected as well the, because it can be this creative project, your ideas, but be discerning of who you let in. That's a big message here. And then your last message for healers of who's helping you and guiding you moving forward in 2021 is Lady Portia with Divine Order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. And we got hidden secrets and lost wisdom and look a little deeper. So there's some kind of lesson, something you're learning. And this is a grand third eye awakening for 2021. And with this crystal energy from the beginning, it's similar energy. So I feel there's a big spiritual lesson that you're going to be learning in 2021. And do what you feel is right. There's something big happening, something with healing, something with medicine, something with your creative project, something that was lost that you're going to find again by connecting with nature. And it's really important and everything is in divine order. All the events of your life are going to be in divine order. Trust that. Trust where your heart and soul are calling you and follow that path. That is your path. And it's important that you trust your own intuition. And again, with the flowers, I feel something beautiful with flowers. You create something with flowers. You like the smell of certain flowers and or it's very healing to others. These different scents and smells. I'm really feeling that uh, maybe somewhere tropical you want to visit. You have beautiful flowers in your garden. Uh, something about that helps you. But always do what you feel is right. And when you are helping people heal, right? When you're healing others, trust. Trust what's in your heart. Trust your intuition on how to help this, these people, whoever this is, or even yourself, because you're very powerful. And I don't think you realize how incredibly powerful your healing gifts actually are. And you're going to realize that in 2021. It's, it's a big deal. And there are certain lessons and certain things that we need to go through in order to really step into this. And I feel like in 2021, you are really stepping in to your gifts. So trust. Everything is in divine order. Trust. Okay, so we are going to put the healer messages here. And then we are going to move forward to the star seed message, special messages for 2021. Star seeds. If you consider yourself a star seed, here the prayer feather came out for you. Look how beautiful this is. Your prayers are very powerful. Your connection with your star family, with source, with all that is, is really powerful. Your pure divine intentions to seed the world with new light, 
and to raise the vibration of humanity is really powerful. So let's read from the book here. Love is flowing to you and through you. No matter what an individual is saying or doing, love him or her anyway. Gather your inner forces. Silently and secretly, love deeply and fully with every ounce of your being, even if someone isn't fulfilling your expectations. It's easy to love people when they're acting wonderfully. The true challenge is to love them when they aren't. So I feel in 2021, you're really going to show other people what unconditional love, what true unconditional love really means. And that's letting go, forgiving, loving yourself, uh, showing everyone love, seeing the light, being discerning still, not allowing other people to take advantage of you or hurt you in any way. But at the same time, letting go, if you have to let go of any challenging connection or situation, you're letting go with love. And it will feel like light as a feather. And if you start seeing feathers on your path, that is a big sign that your your star family is with you. The angels are with you. And you don't have to do everything in an outwardly way. You can silently and secretly send people love, right? Even when they're being ornery, okay? Give them love. Give them love. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Yeah, spirit wants you to know star seeds. You're not alone here. You have other people uh, that are part of this journey like me. You're not alone. You have ancient ancestors that are working with you to help you move forward on your path of destiny. You're very powerful. Your light, your love is very powerful, transformational. And look, prayer feather, and this is you praying. When you're praying, they hear you. They're listening. So trust. Trust the signs, the synchronicities, the animals that you're seeing. Looks like we got eagle or hawk. We got a wolf in here. I, I, I feel like this may be a cougar or a lion of some sort. And then an elephant. So if you see those, read about those, maybe there are your spirit guides, your spirit animals, you want to look up more on that, but you are being heavily guided and they're with you all the time, loving you, supporting you, empowering you. So trust that your prayers are being heard. Lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So things are uh, lost parts of yourself, soul fragments, things that you left behind in other lifetimes, even forgot about in this lifetime are coming back. Memories of the past, gifts, blessings. You've done this before. It's like you're moving forward on a certain path, a certain career, your destiny. And it's like, I've been here before. You may be traveling and going somewhere and you look around and you're like, man, this looks really familiar. Like those deja vu moments. To me, that means that you are in the right place, that you're, uh, you're right where you need to be. So there's something about memories being unlocked that you've done this before, and it's going to seem really easy for you. I feel like you're moving forward in a different direction somehow in, in love, in life, in career, and it's it just feels like so natural to you. Even though you've never done it before or you've never known this person before, it feels like you've known them forever. It feels like you've always just done this or been this way beautiful and archangel michael says to shield yourself to block out distractions do not allow the negative fear-based reality that other people live in to get in your way perhaps something's coming back around in your life and you're like oh no i've already been here and done that before i'm not doing that again so i'm not going there again i do feel that way like you're like the angels your ancestors your loved ones have heard your prayers god has heard your prayers and in that shielding you archangel michael say i'm shielding you from anything that's not serving you so trust that if it's not right for you then that person will disappear that door will close so shield yourself from any negativity. 
Trust what you know within you, not what's going on on the outside. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. And you can name all the people that you're thinking of, okay? So you're being protected heavily right now. Archangel Michael saying, I'm protecting your home, your loved ones, your vehicle, your work, everywhere. I'm protecting you. So know that. Know that you're being heavily, heavily guided and protected right now. Because it's really important that you stay pure, star seeds. It's really important that you keep moving forward and you trust that in what's in your heart and your soul and you trust in your connection with the divine and your last message here of who's with you in 2021 is green tara protection supreme protection see you're being heavily protected because what i feel for you is you're really opening up to your gifts with this third eye a lot of abundance is going to be forming around you, prosperity, opportunity, money, good health, good fortune. And, um, you know, there may be some energies that you need to be protected from. And what Archangel Michael and Green Tara are saying is they are here to protect you. Don't worry about that. Your, your creative projects, your ideas, they're being protected. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. So releasing energies of anyone and everything that's not serving you, releasing the past, just really moving into this beautiful new beginning, opening to love, communicating about what you love, the creative projects moving forward. It's just gorgeous life opening up for you. So move beyond self-imposed limitations. Move beyond the limitations that others have placed on you or placed on themselves. It's not your life. I mean, it's not their, their life to live. It's your life to live is what I mean. Let go of, I, I just feel for you, there may be some people in your life that are, you know, surrounding energies that are living in that fear-based reality, that lower vibration reality, that negative reality. And what spirit is saying is it's really important for you to let that go, to release those energies with love, right? Always do it with love and move beyond those limitations and trust where you're going. Because where you're going is beautiful and abundant and your prayers are being answered and they're coming true. So follow your heart here and trust that you're protected, okay? You're never alone. You've done this before. You've, you've had to do this before. And you, you have a strong connection with source. You have a strong connection with your ancestors. So trust that. Trust that. It's time for you to live in this abundance and all this love and prosperity. It's time. You're very gifted, and so remember that. Okay, we're going to clean this up, and just know that your prayers are being answered. Now we're going to move forward to the mystics. Mystics, if you consider yourself any kind of mystic, um, shapeshifter is your main energy, and with that, that stag, this kind of like elk or something taking the lead i feel so shapeshifter uh morphing into a new version of yourself being flexible through the changes of life you can be anything you desire let go of attachment to your identity see the world around you with new eyes be malleable experiment with different ways of viewing reality See the point of view of others. If you haven't been able to manifest your dreams, maybe you need to shift the way you see the person or situation. So there's a shift in perception that's necessary for yourself or for other people around you. Letting go of attachments uh, to old identities or any kind of identity. Just allowing yourself to expand and grow and be who you are meant to be. Seeing the world around you in a different way. Being flexible, right? Allowing yourself to expand and grow by seeing points of view of others and, and perhaps in certain situations you're seeing things differently. And I feel like it's different in a good way. So allow your life to shift. And look at this. Soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So this is a best friend. This is a soulmate. This is a coming together. I feel that if you had any kind of discontent, 
any kind of contrast or challenge with a friend or someone that means the world to you, that's like a sister to you, a brother to you, it could be a lover, but it just this best friend is someone really important to you. There's a coming together here. There's a shifting of, of perception here. There's a, there's a newness here, a, a understanding. And also by allowing yourself to be flexible and open up to other people's points of view and, and follow your guidance of where your heart and soul are, are moving you towards this new cycle, this new growth, it's you don't have to do it alone. You're going to be attracting people of like mind, very pure divine love between the two of you. See that? So your tribe, you're calling in your soul family in 2021. And all paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. 2021 could be a year of introspection and really growing spiritually. All paths are leading home. You're coming home to where your heart is. You're coming home to your soul family where you belong. Where you're going to feel nourished and refreshed and empowered and supported. Trust where your heart and soul are leading you. Trust. Go within for your answers and the direction. Allow yourself to shift and morph into the version of yourself you were meant to be. It's something about coming home. Somebody's coming home. You're going to feel in 2021, you're going to find your perfect home. And Archangel Michael says it's all about self-respect, loving yourself, respecting yourself, respecting others. Spirit has much respect for you, for how far you've come. You're being blessed. You're being honored right now. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. See, that's what you're doing. You're letting go of anything that's not serving you, anyone that's not respecting you, right? Respecting yourself enough to set your healthy boundaries and have the courage to do so. So Spirit's giving you the courage to speak up on your own behalf. Take your power back. You're being protected and you're being guided towards a place that you can call home. That's beautiful. And your last message of who's supporting you and who's with you in 2021 is Diana. Focused intention. And with that crystal energy at the beginning, we got focus. So you're hitting your mark, whatever that is, whatever you've been manifesting. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. Let me read that again. Think about what you desire. Set your sights higher. Expect the best possible outcome. This is your life. This is your destiny. Allow yourself to shift through these changes. Keep yourself aligned. Focus on your the desired outcome, what's highest and best for you and everyone else, and you are hitting your mark. You are hitting your target. Do not allow anyone or anything to take you away from what you know is right. And expect the best because the best is coming. I love that energy. Okay. So now we're going to move to the last set of messages here. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sending much love to all of you. This is for the light workers, all the light workers of the world, all different kinds, is you are walking in beauty in 2021, Be traveling to beautiful places, seeing the beauty in everything and the beauty within yourself and shining that gorgeous light out to the world. Oh my God, that's what you were meant here to, you were meant to do. That's what you're here for. So much clarity, so much abundance, so many beautiful opportunities coming your way and you're just walking the path, shining that gorgeous light. Radiant beauty surrounds you. You're beautiful inside and out. No matter what your age, your grace is growing, being in balance. As you walk in beauty and feel gratitude for it, your life will be filled with immense splendor. Whenever you can, spend time in natural wild spaces. As you see and hear and feel the beauty around you, your own beauty will grow. Oh, I love it. It's the initiation for you, 2021, for the lightworkers. 
rite of passage, crossing the threshold. You are crossing the threshold to the other side. You perhaps have been going through the dark night of the soul for a while, learning some very valuable lessons, coming out of the dark into the light. And look how gorgeous. It's like the same energy with this crystal focus. You see that? Look how beautiful that is. That's what you're walking towards. That's the threshold you're crossing through to the other side, out of the shadows, out of the fears, out of the lower vibrations and in to the light. <gasps> wow. And earthed, learning how to be human in a world, but not of it. Yes, you're grounding yourself in this physical reality. Finally, taking all of what you know spiritually and getting grounded bringing that information in, changing things, raising the vibration of the planet because you are just who you are. And you're really walking in your physical body on this earth and enjoying it, thriving, loving life, knowing that you're from somewhere else, knowing that this world is not yours forever, it's temporary, but seeding that light. Be, you know, walking forward on your mission. That's what you came here to do. You are showing people the way by being a living example. You are going to lead others out of the darkness into the light. Because you're beautiful and you're magnificent and your glorious love and light is much needed. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wow, Michael came in twice. So Michael is a very is leading the light workers right now, heavily working with the collective, and wants you to have a sense of humor with everything. Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation, so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. So what Archangel Michael is saying: Listen, life is life. We're human. Nobody's perfect. So you can laugh at you. Laugh with yourself. Laugh with others. See the lighter side because spirit always sees the lighter side, right? Spirit's here to protect us and guide us, but always wants us to come from a place of love. And that's how we attract love and light to us and healing energy to us is we lighten up, lighten the load. Maybe perhaps you're humorous and you're funny and you're going to bring beauty to people by being so funny and being lighthearted and flirting with life and showing people how to be light and free. A lot of good times coming, I feel. And then for your last message, lightworker message, to round out this reading, um, Michael is coming through in a very powerful way. Trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Come on. There is a miracle wanting to happen this communication, this rising up, this sword of truth, this clarity, this strength, this passion, stability in the material world. Archangel Michael is saying, trust, trust in heaven. Bring what you know into the physical world. Trust that you're manifesting this portal opening, this crossing the threshold to the other side. And look at this, it's the same colors, walking in beauty, loving life, appreciating everything trust. You are safe. The angels are with you. You are protected as you rise up into this new beginning and walk the path that you were meant to walk. Beautiful, magical, abundant healing path. It's yours. It's yours. I'm sending you all so much love. <laughs>